Speaking of eight, 18 year olds, I did mention the Sundown Track Series, which is live mm-hmm. on Mile Split. Uh, Colin Salmon, Lex Young, and Aaron Salmon are all running. Colin and Lex are running the mile. Aaron is running an eight. I think the race here to watch is the mile with Colin and Lex. No Leo Young, mm-hmm. but Colin Salmon, hey, he's, Leo? he's the guy. Leo at? I don't know. Leo, where is Leo? I don't know. He's uh, Maybe he's going to rab it. Maybe he's not feeling well. Maybe... Do you think Newbury Park's in trouble? Do you think Newbury Park has a, a depth a depth issue? That they might have a depth issue. They only have Colin three. Salmon. He he's he's been running out of his mind all year long. I think he's undefeated. If he has lost, it was because he let his teammate beat him. Running his first track race of the year in a mile mm-hmm. outdoors. Weather will probably be good in Arizona. Are we gonna just see a three fifty nine? Like is that happening? Are we 24 hours away from a another sub four high school miler to add to the list? You know, I have no idea because we don't know what his training's been like leading up to it. But we are to the point of high school boys sub fours where there's going to be a nonchalant sub four. There's going to be a no hype involved sub four because we've gone the season long anticipation route. Like, will Allen Webb be able to get it? Or the whole career building towards it. To the, okay, we're, you know, and then you have the, the special race. It's all set up at the end of the year. If everything aligns perfectly, they could break four. And then you see more and more guys doing it, more and more guys doing it. And it would make sense that the next step is, yeah, I opened with a 359.8. Then I went to class you on think- Monday. And uh, <laughs> went to class lunch on was good. Well, they, had, they had French bread pizza. And uh, not sure about winter formal this year. Don't know if I'm going to go or not. <laughs> Could, I mean, did you feel like Leo Doshbox 359 in, during the quarantine event in 2020 in May? Do you feel like that one kind of had a nonchalant feel? No, just because pandemic, we had no idea what was going on. That, I, I okay. kind of throw that portion of the season especially out. It, def, it felt low key, but. There was hype around that he, the X, like what's Salmon's PB? 401, right? Uh, I don't know. Sorry, what his PB 404. 404. 404. Excuse me. Yeah. 404. Don't want to put too much pressure on the kid, but isn't the expectation that he breaks four at this point? It is. That's what's crazy. Yeah. So and that's why I say it could be a nonchalant breaking of four. Also, if you have, if we eventually get to the point where multiple high schoolers are doing it in the same race and on the same team, then it's really going to – the story obviously will be, oh, this many guys broke four. But the reality will be like, all right, well, how how much faster than four did they go? Are we talking to someone who can eventually you know, move up in that threatened Allen Webb's record? Now, that's a long way to go, but it's more about how far under you go now than just can you do it. Yeah, so 12 men have – 12 high school kids have done it. Looking for number 13, lucky number 13. I remember, I mean, I was kind of starting to try to start the nonchalant train when Hobbs Kessler did it, right? Because I was like, eh, 357, it happens all over the place now. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think he's going to run sub four, and I think it's going to be a nonchalant sub four. Um, We'll probably make a big deal out of it, but I think Newberry Park has just done so much already that they have – figured out a way yeah to make a sub four feel like a standard without even doing it yet because of yeah. the way they dominate across country season and their history and yeah and again i don't wild. yeah and i don't know again because we don't know his training but there will be a nonchalant sub four it may not be this weekend in this meet but and it may not be from this athlete but it, it's coming just because of where that event is going on the high school scene. I'm guessing those guys are, are they better at the two or the, the, the one? What do you mean the two or the one? Two mile or the mile? They seem oh. more like two. <laughs> I mean, two, I, I was like, they run the 200 or the 100? Like, what? Because, I mean, obviously, they're, they're all great in cross. The two, yeah, they're all great they're in cross. Two, and, yeah, and, you know, Nico Young, certainly better as the distance goes longer 
it appears. I'm not saying that's going to be the case with his brothers, but went to the same high school, same setup in terms of training. But yeah, the era of nonchalant sub fours is upon us. Get ready. I think the I think we're going to get it next year, and this is how we're going to get it because next year Newberry Park is going to have three guys: Leo, Lex, and Aaron Salmon. And what's going to happen is two of the guys are going to break four early. And they're going to have their moment, right? Two of the three. And then there's going to be another race where those two, and let's assume another, a third kid breaks four somewhere in a different, in a different state, whatever. There's yeah. going to be a race where like a third Newberry Park kid breaks four, but finishes fourth in a race where you got beat by other high schoolers who already broken four. Who may have run slower than like I could see a situation where three guys run three fifty eight, right? And then mm -hmm. four months later or three months later, those same three guys win a race running three fifty nine. So they run slower, but then there's a yeah. fourth guy who runs three fifty nine. And so everyone's like, Oh, like we were expecting them to like run three fifty five. They only ran three fifty nine. Oh, and by the way, a fourth guy also broke four. Like it's going to be the sub. Oh, by the way, we added another sub four, but really we were looking for more. Like there's going to be a moment where the lead up to the race is going to be expecting like 355 or faster. And then it's going to be a disappointment because they won 359, but then there'll be a sub tech to be like, oh, but a new guy ran four, sub four. He got yeah. fourth. Yeah. He's from Connecticut. <laughs> you know, I like how specific like you got. He will be from Connecticut. Connecticut? Yeah. Get ready. We got a question here from Bill. After Josette Norris's breakout season last year, do you think she's a bigger threat to make the world team in the 15 or the 5,000? She's run 359 for 1,500 and 1,451 in the 5,000. What do you think? Going 15. If I was her coach, which I'm not, which is a good thing because I would be a bad coach. But if I were, I would say go for the 15. 